Hey, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to Hard Hat Outdoors. Today I'm doing a review on my F1 mainframe and some of the accessories I bought to go along with it. As you can see, I got a bunch of stuff laid out on the table here. A um, couple accessories already attached to the bag. This one here is, I believe, called the large padded pocket, and it can be added on to any Molly webbing, or you can actually uh, hook up the chest kit that Everlay Stock offers and hook it up to the front of the pack as well. Um, the hip belt here, I've got a little small pocket, and in this pocket, I normally just carry like a headlamp or a few snacks or something. Sometimes I have a pocket knife in here. Like right now it's in there. If you look at the hip belt, this is actually a, a, an aftermarket hip belt, a large padded hip belt, I believe. They didn't have any in the camo that I wanted, so I got it in military green. Uh, it works pretty awesome for a bigger guy. I mean, if you're a regular sized person under 200 pounds, you could probably get away with the, the standard hip belt that comes with it. It's a little bit smaller in the waist and it just didn't fit me properly so I ended up buying the uh, bigger, the bigger hip belt. Um, in terms of adjustability on the harness, we've got this little track system. You can see on the pack here that you can adjust this harness by loosening this off and just sliding it up this rail system. It's actually quite handy. Rather than having to buy different size frames, you can just adjust this frame to fit your body. Here's a little better look at these pockets. I'm not sure exactly what size this one is, but I mean, I use it to put my tags in and other snacks. It'll hold knives and compass, and, and I use it for hand warmers. You can see I got tags and hand warmers in there now and a little compass. Here's the small padded pocket. Again, that's big enough for like a rangefinder or a uh, GPS cell phone will probably fit in here. Right now I got a headlamp and a and a pocket knife. You can throw granola bars or whatever energy bars or any kind of snack in there. Here's another little stuff sack that I bought. I think this is the one liter stuff sack. They run for about 10 bucks on this website that I buy them on in Canada here. And they're good for anything you, that can fit. I, I've run gloves in there, game bags. If you want to put a, together a little first aid kit or something like that, it'd be good for that. These pouches here are called the Batwing and they're 600 cubic inches each. There's two pockets on the inside and there's a front pocket here, a little bit of webbing to loop to. They zip right into the mainframe, which I'll demonstrate in a minute here. On the back side, if you do have another bag already attached to the mainframe with the zipper, you can use these hooks or the uh, webbing on the back here to attach it to the compression straps. Now I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to attach these bat wings to the frame itself. It just comes with the zipper on each side of the bat wing so you can zip them together in the middle. And there's zippers already on this bag that you can use to attach as well. Stop 
there's a little retention clip here that you can hook on to go around the compression to keep it from falling down. And the other side. can see the way it is right now without it being zipped up in the middle it can open up the bags and this with this fall here I shot a small the other side tail. that has the main zipper and here I there's also a loop to put there's no retention clip so I just have this fall exactly here like this and I just opened it up put the meat down there on the shelf and then just ran the straps around I'll show a picture of that Uh, pretty much how I run it. These straps come in handy. I have a little portable was wrapped up. Heat a seat or thermos seat they call it that I just usually strap on and it's nice because it's orange on the back side so it actually I leave the orange part out so during rifle season because in Alberta it's not mandatory to wear orange so I always hang that off my backpack just in case there's other people hunting on the same property that I'm at. Now on this side, just have a few little basics and a nice light pair of gloves, flip top gloves. Now that I have it all put back together, I'm going to open up the box um, and best friend here, idea of how much case. stuff you can fit in there. There's a small Sight. trail camera in this, and another uh, balaclava, extras just in case. A uh, spare headlamp and a small little first aid kit kind of thing in this stuff sack. But uh, as you can see when you open it up, there's a big pocket in here and it's kind of stretchy. If you had a spotting scope or something, you could put it in there to keep it from bouncing around. Uh, the main compartment, you can push that out of the way and just fill straight the main compartment too if you want. And then on the front of this pocket, there is another slide pocket. It's quite large. You could fit a small water bottle or maybe like a tripod or something like that in there, depending on what you're using the bag for. On this other side, it's the same thing, same pocket. I, I got an extra stuff sack, a pair of gloves, big heavy gloves for winter, knife and some bags. And some ice cleats for if it's really slippery. Sometimes we get freezing rain and uh, it's not very much fun trying to walk around. But you can see this is the same setup. Hip pocket on the front. All the zippers on these Everly stock packs have like a rubber coating which is really great during the hunting season. I find with my old pack I was always having to tuck the zippers into the, the uh, pocket so that they weren't smacking together and making noise. But with these, they stay pretty silent. I've never really heard them knocking. It's pretty lightweight, the way it's set up. I'd like to get some more bags to add storage options and have a, a chance to carry more. Because as it's set up right now, if you want to no, carry really like a pack, an extra jacket, or a pair of bibs or something, there's just not really much room. You'd have to open everything up and stuff it inside. Well, this wraps up my review of the F1 mainframe and Batwing pouches for the from Everly Stock. Um, if you like what you saw or you have so any I questions, some bigger pockets, give me a comment down storage. below. And so hopefully in the near future like I'll have a chance to get some of those. Thanks again for watching. Review on those as well.